Hey, bad friends. I am going to be in Boston for New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve, Eve, the 30th and the 31st. You got to come see your boy, andrewsantino.com for tickets. Boston, come out. See me. Celebrate with me. Let's have a good time. andrewsantino.com for those tickets. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Welcome back to Bad Friends. Let me tell you something. It's a new show. It's different today. Bobby's gone because we fired him. Fired. And we're looking to fill his spot. So we've got some people that are going to come in and fill his spot. Right now, Trev Wallace, T-Dub, is in the house, in the hot seat. And also, directly across from him, is my main man, Rex Dizzy. This motherfucker is the best. And right next to him is... um, Damn, I always forget your name. (laughs) You gave it to me. Juicy! (laughs) Juicy's in the motherfucking house. Um, how fun is this, guys? We're filling in Bobby C because he, we don't need him anymore. Where I'm is a, he? I'm a chubby Korean, so fuck it. Yeah, you fill you fill the mold. Let's in get fact, weird. Let's really get let's get right into it. <laughs> so Rec and I worked together on uh, a A24 show called Beef that will come out. When is that going to come out? I have no idea. Next year, sometime Frank. next year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is this the show that was written for Bobby? It was. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I think we found the answer right here. The host is across from me. So Bobby's mad at Bobby. Doesn't hate you, but he's not happy that you got the role that he wanted. Because it was supposed to be maybe me and Bobby at one point, and then it became <laughs> me and Rec. You know, I approached him about it. What did you say? I saw the podcast, and then the next day I was eating um, at some Korean uh, restaurant, and I was like, "Yo, I heard you was talking shit." But respectfully, because I know he can't, he probably kicked my ass though. No, he can't. He has Ajishi strength. That's like he's seventy five years old. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is like an old, strength. tiny Korean man. He do- yeah, I but get those- some little old Korean men have good strength. Yeah, they don't work out, but they're like very powerful. I think it's because of the mandatory military service or oh, right. something. Right. He has that. Yeah, he does. And like hidden Korean rage. I don't I have that much rage. I want to see you guys fight now. Shoot, can we set up a fight between Rec and Bobby and see who wins? Yeah, we'll get on it. Okay, uh, you want to f- no, you bare knuckle him? I absolutely don't want to fight <laughs> <laughs> So honest, you're like, I did that's not, I don't want to. Yeah. That. So Rec filled, uh, filled the shoes that Bobby couldn't, and man, oh man, did you kill it on the show. So It's so good. We I don't know if the time. show is good, but you did good. <laughs> you did. You killed it. I, was, I, I, I did very, very good. <laughs> And no, I was humble. I'm very humble about it. To say, yeah. No, I I had a super fun time. I hope the show is good. Who fucking who knows? You know what I mean? You do stuff and you never. I had a guy. We I just said at the coffee shop. This this guy was like, oh, I saw the trailer that you did for that Mark Wahlberg and Kevin Hart thing. And look, I had a great time. It's not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that's a personal thing on you at all or no? It was all me. Okay, that's what I was Kevin thinking. the whole time was like, come on, man, this is on you. This film is about you. It's your film, right? And I was like, okay. And it's, I don't, what, what's funny about Netflix is you can't bomb really. It just goes away. That Two. one bomb. <laughs> Fancy. Oh, Fancy. Wow. <laughs> Did it bomb? When the producers are saying it bombed, it really bombed. No, we talked about it on the show before. I think on oh, Rotten really? Tomatoes, I think on Rotten Tomatoes, oh, we, we no. showed it. What is yeah, it now? Six. Yeah, six but you're per- not doing that to be like, this is where I get my acting wings. You're like, motherfucking Kevin Hart. Yeah, you, you get a couple stills with him and you're good. <laughs> yeah. Then you're good. That's true. Yeah, I had to pay got, for him though. All the pictures I had to post, he, he made me pay. And you, you also did the sh- did just to make friends with Kevin. That was his only reason. He got a sick from the tomato meter. <laughs> Shout out. That's yeah. pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's, yeah, it's pretty level. How many reviews though? 855,000, it says, something like that. <laughs> Interesting. There's a couple so. of critics. <laughs> 64. 64. That's not, that's not enough. To, no. I think you need to hit 100 before you get a real rating. <laughs> right. But anyway, yeah, dude, I don't know. And I'm also in, and I will know if a box <laughs> office. Well, that's top, a, that, that bottom right. Maybe Kevin Hart's worst movie yet. <laughs> yeah, and that's from Nick at the uh, Daily Beast. You know, he's a top critic. Did you know that? And every day he's just a beast. The Daily Beast. Any maybe bottom critics? You're not going to show any bottom critics that's on there? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Russell you, Simmons. Look at Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons is on there. Russ Simmons. <laughs> if you value I used to your work time. for him. Where's he at? <laughs> you value- oh, there it Did is. Did you work for Russell Simmons? I used to work for Russell Simmons, yeah. Go on. Uh, and then uh, he was the man. He would just bring hot women into the office and then go to his office where they would probably do Hollywood stuff. And then he would just <laughs> walk out and then she would leave. And he'd be like, put this girl in a sketch because it was uh, a, a comedy and music vertical at the time. Ah. And uh, What is Hollywood stuff that they would do behind yeah. closed doors? I think like- a lot of rock, paper, scissors, naked. <laughs> Sexually, I don't know. I I don't know, but it, 
he would just bring lovely women in, probably have a nice general pitch meeting as Hollywood is. You're like, here's my script. And he's like, here's yeah. my cock. And, you know, oh, <laughs> oh, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Is that That's what, what it goes on in Hollywood? <sighs> why am I not getting more roles? That's why me time <laughs> didn't do well. Yeah, you didn't I, show your cock. I didn't show no, my cock. I don't cock. know. I, I think he would. He would just oftentimes he always had like an entourage. He would just. His Instagram was always like yoga, po like posts, like very zen. And yeah. then he'd walk in and be like just yelling and then just have like hot women and just call me. He'd be like, white bitch. He would say that to me. You were the white bitch? He would say white bitch. You're Russell Simmons' he, white bitch. I was, yeah. I worked for him for like three years. <laughs> he never once knew my name. I used to like post on his Instagram. Like you, I was his guy. Like When you put post. out a special, you should call it white bitch. White bitch. <laughs> Trevor Wallace, white bitch. Damn. And if you do put out a special, uh, we're, we've all been waiting, by the way, because Trevor Wallace, uh, according to Bobby Lee, is the best comedian that's out right now. Thank you. Thank you. He's not here. I mean, I used to get up. What's the laughter for, huh? <laughs> what see, am I, top 23? I can see how uncomfortable you're getting. <laughs> oh, of course. I Trevor mean, because is a great we, comedian. This is the same chair that Bobby was appraising me on, on he the was. show. Yeah. And you were like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> no, I right. wasn't. Look, go, show the footage. <laughs> Zoom in on Santana. Roll the clip. Yeah, uh, you it's, said you said he said how good is Trevor Wallace? I go he's great, and then he wanted me to like pl go down this road with him and being like, oh Trevor, oh my god, yeah. like, right. and I was annoyed <laughs> with him trying to like pull me down this weird road. I was like, what? He's great. I said he's great, and he's like, no, 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 he's better than great. I was like, okay, man. Well, what now you you're. What do you think about me? I hate you. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I lo I lo absolutely love you, dude. Thank I think you, you're a, I think you're a great comic, and also a really cutie patootie. When we did that show together, man, I watched you on stage. Boy, oh boy, do you got a nice, you got a nice structure. <laughs> like in the face or the ass? Just your bod is cool. Oh, nice. You what angle? A, Just your bod is cool. I was behind you. On, yeah. the, the, and I saw you sideways too a lot. Oh, at uh, when Austin. We, when we Austin. did. Uh, oh, yeah. I did the, the Bad Friends We did the show, show together. Yeah. yeah. I was supposed to be like brought out on stage. And then you're like, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's not how it works over it's here. too baby. much pale pigment on one screen. <laughs> Well, we're mixing it up today because we've got, you know, we have two whites in the lead chair. Uh, but feels good. It is nice, but I need we needed a little bit of a uh, little bit of Asian spice, a little bit of fish I'm sauce. Glad I could do that for you, <laughs> Rec. You do, Rec. Did you did you any time to speak to Juicy? Did you guys get to meet? Um, like after watching this podcast every week, I feel like I know her. You don't watch it every week, do you? I do. God bless. Look I love you. this podcast, man. You're incredible. So, so I saw her, and I first thing I said was not nice to meet you, but I love you. And then oh, nice. it just came out. <laughs> and it took chairs. me aback and I was like, wait, uh, my bad. I mean, nice to meet you. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. How did you respond? I don't I don't love you though. I mean I I oh, like damn. you. Damn. Playing hard to get. She said, who I think you're great. I said, who dis? Oh. No, I did not. Damn. <laughs> to his face. Did you? <laughs> no, I said I love you too. Okay, nice. So we love each other. Yeah. I'm all about the love. You are all about the love. Yeah. That's You're what I do before I go on stage. People ask what I think about. I just think about love and try to like <laughs> expand it. Are you being serious? Dead serious. I like this. Wow. I need. We need more love. Is, do you like say something in your head? Uh, sometimes I think about someone like my mom or someone like that's easy for me to like feel like love. Mm -hmm. And then I just like expand that. I like that. I, I think about... <laughs> But I should think about my jokes, probably. No, 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 <laughs> no. That comes next. That's that's not that big. Of, I think about Kanye West right before I go on, because mm -hmm. yeah. a lot of his rhetoric lately, you know, it's really inspiring. On <laughs> brand, <laughs> he's inspiring this guy. He's a loopy, sad boy, man. And somebody then I just saw an article that said he was ranting about P Pete Davidson's ten-inch penis. I saw that. No, his cock. Oh, his pe the penis the or the rant? Inch. Yeah, the ten-incher. <laughs> I've known Pete for a long time, and when I met him, he was only eight inches. So it's cool to see that you grow with time, <laughs> as a person and in your penis. Allegedly your screamed out Pete Davidson's ten-inch penis during a fight with Charlemagne. Charlemagne will do that, man. He's so good at pulling people into this world of getting really mad and stuff. He's so fucking good at like making people get annoyed and pissed off, and then then blowing up on his show. He also baits people to say fucked up shit. They, do they have footage of that though? The cock? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. If I had a ten inch cock, I mean, I'd be running. I'm doing the same thing, run around town trying to date everybody. Yeah, hundred percent. But yeah. unfortunately, I don't. How many inches is your cock, Trev? Probably six and a quarter. Six and a quarter is honest and real, and I know that's yeah. actually the number. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. measured it, huh? Oh, yeah, recently. <laughs> but you know what's a trip? One time I measured it with a with a straight rule, like a hard rule, a wooden ruler, mm -hmm. and then I did it with a tape measure, mm. and I was longer on the tape measure on tape measure so what's up dude is that skewed you got the curves in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you go all the way around it's the angles block. Yeah, i had to use a protractor to yeah. get uh some of my cock there 
If I had a penis, I'd measure it all the time. Nah, because once be like you get it, you got it. The height charts. You'd be checking it out. Each <laughs> <laughs> day, mark it. Yeah. Yeah, it really depends on the season. Summer is probably better than most, but it winter. is true. Summer, you do have a nicer cock in the sun. Humidity feels comfortable. The winter always makes me get a small penis. Oh yeah, it's like you took Adderall. It's just not good for you. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Mm. Does your penis shrink up in the winter? Uh. It's pretty much the same always. I feel same like. size always. Yeah. Never changes. Consistency. Yeah. Summer nice. penis is a thing, by the way. Look at this. This is a thing. Men are claiming. Oh, yeah. Men will do anything <laughs> to make sure their penis that seems bigger. The heat wave is making their penis bigger. Look, <laughs> Look at, at this. Girl Global is... warming. It's a good thing. Oh, nice. Let's keep fucking up the environment as long as we get bigger cocks. World is melting bigger cocks. <laughs> now, that's my special name right there. <laughs> <laughs> what is summer penis? Summer penis? Dude, summer penis is a thing. I'm going to have to check now. I, I didn't know that. All right, everyone is... at home, measure your cock in the winter and the summer. Please send your results because Fancy needs to see. Well, actually, send a picture of your penis in the summer and then in the winter to Fancy. But isn't L.A. like just in a perpetual summer state? Everybody's always packing. That's why I live here. Yeah. <laughs> Stay That's thick. Why I... <laughs> Get a bigger yeah. cock, baby. Stay thick. Are you from L.A.? Pretty much. Oh, okay. Like the suburbs of it, like an hour away. Oh, God yeah. bless. So I've just been packing my whole life. You're yeah. from L.A.? No, nah, I'm from uh, New York, from Queens. But just say you're from L.A. I'm from LA. When they listen, they're like, oh, he's got a big cock. I did. Saying. I forgot. You did, but you lived in Queens for a short amount of time, and then you guys moved. Didn't you tell me that? No, nah, I was born and raised in Queens, and then I moved to LA. Wow, maybe there's the other Asian on the show. <laughs> My bad, dude. The whole show is Asians, by the way. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Look at the fucking cast for this show. It's it's. I'm there's one white and all Asians. <clears throat> it's this is my thing, man. Hey, I'm the white. Get I'm, the what is that called? The token white guy. Yeah, I'm the token white guy. Yeah, <laughs> for now. Until until they're like, we got to get a new white. I think you should capitalize on this. And you love golf. Koreans love golf. Bro, I love golf. You what? should be a star in Korea. Well, link me up with the Koreans. <laughs> I what will. do I need to do? Uh, I do a show with the little one every week and it's still not I, 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 get, I get you some cameos and some rap videos. Uh, I'm, will, you, will you seriously? I, I do, absolutely will. I want to get linked up with the Koreans. Let's fucking go. You get some K-pop going? I fuck with Koreans. I love their food. I love the people. And you're a non-cringe ally. A non-cringe ally. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's, That's big. so good to know. That's you big. you are too. I think oh, both of you. Yeah. You're vouched. Thank God. For, For sure. For a second, I was like, am I? <laughs> what about you? Yeah, what... Well, I haven't really heard her speak on any oh, yeah. have issues. You... Uh -oh. I, I said I love speak it. But on she it. loved How do you feel about Korea? Go. <laughs> this, I love it. This this kind of like <laughs> most NPC answer ever. I love it. <laughs> Give me There's some. also an axe underneath your chair. Is that planned? Do we know this? There's an axe under there? Oh yeah, yeah. For we really? okay, that, for sure. It's Rudy has knives all over the place. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense. Tell me, tell me, okay, make yourself an ally right now towards <laughs> anybody. Doesn't have to be Koreans, but let's go. Let's hear what your stances are on public issues. Well, I'd have it's I think it's case by case. <laughs> all right, let's start with something heavy. The Jews. Let's go. <laughs> You have to give me an example, though. Korean Jews. Korean, Korean Jews. Jews. How are they? I mean, I I think people are people. I think Ben Sorry. Baller's a I think <laughs> Ben Baller's a Korean Jew. Ben Baller's a Korean Jew. I think he like converted. Please look that up. Is That's he really? I mean, he works in diamonds. Yeah. Okay. Shout out our fellow people, our fellow Jews out here. Yeah, Trev is a Jew, but are you? Oh, yeah. You're half Jew, right? Uh, I got a bar mitzvah. I'm Jewed up. For real? My oh, dad. Fuck. My dad is Christian. My mom is uh, Jewish. But in that, because you that, look Christian. Thank you. You 100% look Christian. Yeah. It's, it's like kind of like a puggle dog. Like it's like you look more like a beagle than a pug. Right. So it's like it's mm. nice. People are like, you're fucking Jewish, dude. But that's kind of nice that you don't because you don't look the thing. Yeah. Because you look like you look like what they what Mormons want. You are. OK. <laughs> like handsome. <laughs> swiping right. Well, you're handsome. Christian you're angle. clean cut. Like you look like you've never had an STD. Mm -hmm. You look like you've never gotten in bad boy trouble. Have you gotten in bad boy trouble? No. See what I mean? No. You're pure, dude. You're one of these guys. I could see you wearing one of these white shirts. That's you for Halloween. 100%. Yeah, I might go like no helmet, though. I don't want to fuck up the hair on the bikes, but. Speaking of no helmet, you have one, though. You're circed, right? Uh, I clipped up, yeah. Yeah. yeah are you circumcised? Fade. Yeah. You are. Are you circumcised? I don't have a penis. What the fuck? Get out of town. What the? <laughs> End the show. <laughs> are you tucked? What do they do for girls? Do they tuck you? Do they tuck you early just to make sure the lips don't uh, fall out too much? I, I don't really do much in this country. <laughs> we don't, no. We should. We should find out a way to have... Uh... Girls need to get circumcised too, guys. I'm sick of this fucking thing where it's like just men. It's gross. Like, let's... Equality. Girls don't, need to get snipped. Don't some places do that? Yeah, like the Sudan. Yeah, but that's that's vaginal mutilation. They like oh, wow. they hold them against their will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. Do you think they call it vaginal mutilation? They call it ouchie ouchie. I think. 
You're going to get ouchy today, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, I, I, uh, I, I, I'm happy that um, you're here in Bobby's seat because I got to tell you, your energy is good. And I do think we might have to genuinely replace. Oh, fuck yeah. Where is over. Bobby? Does he know this is going on? He, no, he has no idea. What is he doing right now? Is he still at that Joe's Crab Shack in Honolulu? Oh my God, dude. What the f that was the saddest thing I've seen on his Instagram. six times. I almost flew there and sucked him off myself. I was like, Bobby, we got it. It was like, day four, all alone. No, like, Bobby, he, I love you, but let me send you some hoes. Respectfully one. He's in, uh, he's in New York. He's filming, uh, what's, the, what's the show called now? It's Sex in the City, but it's called something else. Uh, and just like that. And just like that. My mom the loves fuck? that show. That's how she knows Bobby. Really? Yeah. Seriously? That is. I was like, don't you, tell him that. He would be so sad. <laughs> I never told him that. I was like, you might know him from Mad TV or something. And she's like, no, actually, I know him from Sex in the City. <laughs> yeah, but you know Damn. what? Audiences must be huge because they keep making seasons of this yeah, show. So. She loves it. She says he's great in it. And just like that. What but is his character in there? He was a podcaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're lying. I swear to God. Look, that's where Hollywood is right now. Well, that. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he's, he's like a hype beast podcaster. Though. <laughs> yeah. That's him right there. No way. And that's his co-host, right? She's the co-host. The girl or on the right. The. Left. Our yeah. left, yeah. Well, you know what's funny is I'm not being facetious by any means. I think the person he's with goes by they. Oh, I'm serious. I'm being serious. I'm not being a smart ass. I'm not gonna I, I, lie. They look like they're having more fun than he usually has on here. Well, he's acting. Oh. He's acting. So this whoa, might all be coming. Whoa. That's interesting. Tying together. <laughs> That's an interesting. Quote. Look, look at, look at. <laughs> yeah, he's acting, dude. <laughs> okay. Bobby's never. Look at, look at that photo. <laughs> That's how he talks to you on the phone. <laughs> With his feet up, feet up in the air. <laughs> on his <Yeah>. belly. <laughs> Do you remember how the, remember those days when you would call someone on the phone and talk to them for hours and hours and hours? Yeah. Like a boy, did you ever a boy crush that you like spoke to on the phone for hours at night? Yeah. Until your I mom like, was like, get off the phone. Yeah. Well, I had the cell phone by junior high. So by the time I was like calling boys, I had a cell phone. So mm. she, she, racking up those minutes. Yeah. Were you on unlimited? No, I didn't understand minutes. And then one day she was like, how did you make the, like, like, how are you on horny, the phone? Mom, leave me alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know she had record of how much I was on the phone, Damn. so that was pretty embarrassing. Yeah, that, well, oh, it's kind of yeah, flex. See, well, they can see that. <laughs> You're like, yeah, mom, I get fucking dudes. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your minutes at, Barbara? I get dudes. <laughs> no, you know what? I did it from a. We were house phone kids. Yeah. Like I grew up. You didn't have house. I had phone. it you're for a little young. bit. You're you're old enough. You had yeah, house phone. Yeah, house phone. You didn't though. Yeah, you're, no, you had house phone. Oh, you did. I used to have. My parents made me answer the phone a certain way. Oh, let's. Fucking oh, go. whoa! Oh, bring the chaos this. in. Piece of shit. Whoa, baby girl. <laughs> With the bedazzled Wawa. Let's go. Oh, what's up? Seven hundred dollars down the drain. Like, ah, I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking rich. She is really Yo. rich, dude. This is out of control. This is what she does. Why did I enter Hi. like this? Hi. I don't know, dude. Wrong. Well, uh, I think your pants. Pants. This is a Bobby Should I leave? Because she's way funnier than I am. No, no, no she's not. Rick. Stay. <laughs> All right, well, let's. here's the deal. I want to see how we can make this work. Uh, we're going to be interviewing a few people today to find out who's going to take over Bobby's seat. Um, Juicy, you're in on this, too, because, you know, this would be a co-host for you. Okay. So She doesn't even want it. She does. Wait, no, I, I'm not grateful. Can Get I her out. audition to be a producer after this too? <laughs> yeah, you sure can. That's I thought, a good spot back there. I thought I was auditioning for Rudy. You are. Okay. You already oh got Oh my it. God, that's racist. You put the Asian in the Asian spot? <laughs> what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Wait, what's wrong with putting the Asian in what's the Asian spot? What's wrong with that? Also, this show is all Asian most of the time. Right. It's me drowned by Asians. <laughs> <laughs> the only it's thing me. that saves me on this show is that I got, you know, I have a fan. I have a fucking. You know what? This this you. is the diversity episode. Couple of border jumpers. <laughs> yeah, with the white. No. Not oh, you. I thought you were saying gay guys. Huh? <laughs> I thought you were saying they were your gay guys. They kind of are. Yeah, they're like married gay guys. But only one jumped the border. The other one flew here. Oh boy! Oh, on Jeez. a private jet that is data. Flex. <laughs> Fancy. Now that's more my speed. Have you ever? Jets. Have you been on a private jet, Carlos? Uh, yeah. Because your <laughs> your dad? No. Uh, Father That's a rich Aww. sentence oh right there. Ex father in law. <laughs> That's a CSI Miami show if I've ever heard of one. Wait a you minute. married rich? Yeah. Your ex was super wealthy? Yeah. That yeah. girl that I met? Yeah. Sure. Really? No, she did not look she rich. She didn't look rich at all. She looked like yoga. Yes. You know? She yeah. looked like. Uh, like she got paid in donations. Mm hmm. In hope. She got paid in promises. <laughs> yeah, you had a place in the Bahamas, like a vineyard. She had a place in the Bahamas in a vineyard? In Damn. Where'd you guys meet in rehab? <laughs> Burn. Uh, Zinger. Same, 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 same. <laughs> That's where you move to get detox and Jesus. 
Silver Lake is fucking, that is rehab town. Look how Everyone cute there Trevor is looks. I, looks just like me. Can I tell you something? I complimented him he already. So he is so today. fucking he cute. Extra cute. Let's go, baby. He gets More nervous energy. when I say that to him because he knows that I'm, I mean it. You're about yeah, to but lean you have in. big brother energy. Like you like compliment, and I'm waiting for you to just like nut tap me under the desk, like fucking bitch. Maybe he'll nut rub you. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> You're really so long. I do have big brother energy. I do. Right, but like even when we were in Austin and the girl I was with met you, she's like, I think that guy hates me. I was like, no, that's just him. Oh my God, <laughs> no. you nagged Every, Trevor's girl? Do you want to know what happened for real? So this is really what happened. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> There's a million people backstage and these guys know during production of shows, it's a nightmare and you're trying to figure out like who's going on when and when, when, when. And we're doing a Bad Friends Live so there's a bunch of different people coming and going, someone was late and they couldn't get a bus and he was dropped off at the wrong time and blah, blah. and it was all this shit and I see this girl who's wearing a lanyard and I immediately am thinking she works for South, or, uh, the festival. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so she, cause you she's standing put her to there. Work? She's standing there alone. She's like, give me a fucking call, bro. I go, bitch, <laughs> get me a coffee, bitch. <laughs> yeah. bitch I get thought me a she was getting bitch. paid to be fucking abused. I'm thinking she's someone's manager or agent or a fucking, you know what happens to these festivals that like people in the fucking business just are allowed to just go places and you're like, who are you? And they're like, I work for F, you know. We did a Quibi show in 09. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I, okay. <laughs> So I, I didn't fuck her off, but I was like, hey, what's up? I just kind of was, I didn't know who she was. I right. thought she was just another girl backstage. And then Trevor's like, Trevor's like, this is my girlfriend. And yeah. I was like, oh my God. Then I reintroduced myself nicely. I was just like, does she work with us? I have no idea. Fancy brings around these young women all the time. Yeah, He's a tongue. baby thief, this guy. In the glasses? He'll just show up and be like, I brought that baby. He'll just bring a baby. <laughs> oh, nice. And I'm like, why? Do you have a, a little baby? And he's like, she'll go for the show. And I'm like, okay. She's a human stork just dropping off They don't off pay babies. enough here, so they I have to, you know, babies Sell babies? Yeah. We don't pay enough? You're fired. <laughs> you're fucking fired. I get fired. the audition for that role next. Yeah, you're up there I think next. I'd be a good producer. I'll just pull up Pornhub every 14 minutes. <laughs> but I did. I was very nice to your girlfriend after you introduced her properly. But it, you, you left they her out. Up. You left yeah, her to stray, by boy, the way. But you guys were like, you're doing the podcast. You're doing stand-up. You're doing the podcast. And I was just on my toes. So I fucked off for a little bit. So yeah, you kind of fucked her yeah, off yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. That's hey, my bad. I, that's my Can bad. I just say, you broke up, right? Yeah. I just want to let, let the ladies know out there, Trevor is available. Bad friends. What's up? He's fucking handsome. He's ready to he go. He is hot and handsome. And he's got hot a six and, and one quarter penis. Six and a quarter, baby. Oh, really? Maybe yeah. bigger in the summer. Bigger in the there summer. You might have summer dick. Somebody transcribe Gotta trim that hair and make that profile. dick bigger. Wait a minute. That girl that I met, you uh, broke up with her? You are no longer together. Well, then I don't feel bad about what I did to her. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. True Santina. Fuck, bring it Because when he was on stage, she was like... I love him so much. And I was like, shut up. And she, she said like, that. She goes, he's so funny. And I oh, go, shut the God. fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. <laughs> She's got a dumb <laughs> one, bitch. <laughs> no, she was really nice. She was very, very nice and cool. Nice. And I was sweet to her once you introduced me. But that's the rule. Everybody knows. If you bring a significant other to an event or something, you can't leave them out to stray. You have to... She has to be near right, you. Right, right, right. Because otherwise she's rogue. Then it's like, who is this lady backstage? It's a rogue lady. And I assume she's somebody's manager or PR person. And I she do not want to talk. PR vibes. Yeah, and I don't want to talk to PR people. Annie has the best significant other. She's got a Todd. I got a Todd. Everyone deserves a Todd. Todd can wander off. It's fucking annoying, though, because I'm always like, where's Todd? I'm like holding my own purse. I'm like, where is Todd? <laughs> <laughs> Todd. He knows everything. It's oh, my awesome. God. Just down I thought right. yeah, he was gone. I thought <laughs> he was having so much fun. And everyone just like adopted Todd. I was like, guys, Todd's mine. Okay, let's no. We, we kind of took Todd on our own. When I see him at the store, I get happy. When I see you, I get happy because I love you. But when I see him, I'm like, ooh, Todd's here. I get no, a little excited. No, he's my better half. I know, he really is. That he's was my wholesome. better half Asian. He is half. He's half but, he, but which Asian? It's not a good one, though. No, he's the bat Laotian. That's so cute. Oh, that is good. They have like, yeah, they have. Uh, Rec, you got any comments about that? Well, I, I don't know. You know, I don't think, I, I wouldn't say the best Asian. Well, well, I'm just saying oh, the best because he's my Beef boyfriend. But. Rank the Asians, for real. Be honest. <laughs> Kore oh, Kore we know who's at the bottom. That's the second Korea's bottom. number one. That's all I got to say. Is Korean is Korean is really And then who's second? Be, be real. It doesn't really matter. Yes. Oh, whoa. If you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby. There we go. Tadega Knights. There I think is. it goes Koreans. I've said this on the show. Japanese love Japanese people. Uh, Keep the camera on him for this. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. So with this. Koreans, <laughs> Japanese. Like Trevor this, please? I have to say Chinese. I have to say Chinese because... You know, because they get the short end of the. Well, they own this show. I'm sure we don't even know it, but they own this show. There is a like ranking of like not giving a fuck and giving too much of a fuck. Japanese people are here; they give too much of a fuck. That's why they're so polite and ah, fuck with that. Kind of mask their but true it's emotions. Fake. It's fake. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Oh. It's passive yeah. aggressive. Yeah, and then they're like the Japanese. Canadian. And then Korean. Chinese. Yeah, my bad. But uh, Chinese people just don't give a fuck at all, and yeah. then Koreans are smack in the middle. Like I don't know. I don't give a fuck, but I do. Versatile. 
That's why I say. What about uh, what about like uh, what about Ty- what about Taiwanese? They just hate Chinese. being called Chinese. Yeah, that's right. They do. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now a word from our sponsor, Better Help. Hey, we've talked about mental health help on this show many, many a times for a couple years now. Bob and I are big, big, big into this. Uh, I do love it. I think talking to a therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or how small. And uh, on a personal level, I like it because I like to do it from the comfort of my own home. I don't like to leave. And it's nice and easy and convenient. It's also cheaper than traditional in-person therapy. And I'd rather stay in my home, in my jammies. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and it's entirely done online. And if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. You can get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. It's wonderful. We use it. We love it. Some of the benefits I've seen from using BetterHelp, uh, I'm less stressed and I'm less quick to get angry about stuff. It helps me kind of work through something on a slower, more logical level instead of jumping and getting all angry, road rage type of stuff. Don't do that no more. Talk to someone about what's bumming you out. Make your day a little bit brighter and better. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can help get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash bad friends today and get 10% off your first month. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash bad friends. Vroom! Hey, with Vroom, you can shop thousands of cars right from your phone and have your next ride delivered straight to your door. It's pretty incredible, man. Look, I'm a big car guy. I've talked about it on the show pretty relentlessly how much I love cars. And uh, they're a nightmare to buy, all right? Everyone has to go to dealerships and you spend hours and hours and hours talking to this dude who talks to that dude who talks to that person, see if they can get this deal done. And it's all crunching numbers and it's all nonsense, to be honest with you. Vroom is a solution for all that. With thousands of cars available on Vroom.com, you can make sure you get the ride you really want so you do not have to settle. All the cars on Vroom.com come with a 90-day limited warranty and a one-year roadside assistance nationwide, all over the beautiful country, giving you peace of mind while on the road. You can trade in your old car as well if you got to go clunker chunker. When you buy a new one, trade it in. Or you could just sell it to Vroom. Vroom will buy it. When you sell your car on Vroom, you get a price instantly. You don't have to wait for a quote. So you're saying, Andrew, how do I buy a car completely online? How do I do that? I don't want to go to dealership anymore and talk to some guy with too much cologne on. You can buy a car right now from Vroom, entirely done online. So next time you need to buy a car, just grab your phone, go to Vroom.com and check out thousands of cars. Vroom.com. All right, so I'm going to interview Trevor and then then this then we'll get a little swap with Annie and the hot seat. Yeah. Um, Okay. (laughs) Six and a quarter inches. Thanks for coming in today. Of course. am, Am I? This is me, not Bobby. Thanks for coming in today. Hey, pleasure to be here. Oh my God, he's failing already. He's failing so bad. Uh, tell <laughs> me. Oh, I have what, to be like mean. What What's you, up, bitch? What, no, no, that's not Bobby's. <laughs> I'm the mean one. No, but like, <laughs> I feel like that's how you win people over is you like be like rude. You're the dumb one. I'm the mean one. She's the sweet, funny one. You get it? Oh, okay, okay. I'm f- We're okay. all I'm, acting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, yeah, because I'm very smart. Shoot. I did very well on the ACTs. All right, yes. All right, all right. Oh, so, what did you get on the ACTs, Trevor? Uh, 24? That's is, isn't that the, isn't that Allison. Isn't that the SAT, dog? Here's the the ACTs are out of thirty six. <laughs> uh, ACTs are thirty six. Yeah, yeah. I did well for state school kids. Wait, so what did you get on the on the? AC- I smoked weed in eighth grade out of a light bulb. So for me, like this is a good trajectory. <laughs> Literally, the first time I smoked weed, four twenty eighth grade. That sounds like a great idea. Get it? Do it <laughs> out of a light, bulb? a light bulb. Yeah, I was with some other kid, and he broke the glass off, and then just used the bottom as like what a the bowl, fuck? and then put it over. A you guys pen. are. F- What's the first time you? How was the first uh, device you used to ingest marijuana, Rec? Just a, like a J? Oh, no, a blunt, actually. A blunt? Cool guy answer. answer. That's way cool. Cool what guy answer. I mean, that's New yours? York. <laughs> Those are cool. Just a, just a blunt. He's I was cool. smoking weed out of a G&E damn electric bill. Like, <laughs> I, I was a, was a it Bic an Edison pen. Bulb? Yeah. A Bic pen, like uh, the, just the outside piece, the tube, oh, wow. with tinfoil on the oh, end. Dude, oh, dude. Yeah. You know, sometimes Vic, I forget. This guy named Vic, who, if he is alive, I am in shock. I forget where you're from, <laughs> and then stuff like that reminds me. Oh, Philly. Oh, yeah. Trash. Whenever I, like a Bic pen. Yeah, you are. That's so trash. That's disgusting. <laughs> Mine was an apple. 100% an apple. Apple sold. Apple was like the smartest because we, we, were, we couldn't buy papers because we were scared they wouldn't sell them to us. We yeah. were 14. And my buddy was like, a guy I know says you could smoke it through fruit. And I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he's like, what'd and he, you call he, me? He got two pencils, jammed them through, and we smoked him an apple. And then he was like, and then we have to eat the apple Yeah, there's afterwards. always a kid who's trying to, to eat the eat apple. The yeah. After you all made so love to annoying. a fruit. It's like eating the cookie after you jerk off on it. It's like, come on, leave the cookie yeah. alone. The cum, the cum cookie? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Carlos did laugh like he was always the cum cookie eater, by the way. 
Carlos, did you ever eat a cum cookie? Be honest. Nobody's always watched guys jerk off. He has done. He has watched a lot of guys masturbate. Have you guys mutually masturbated uh, on a thing or in a thing with friends? Have you ever done that? You know about the cum cookie. You know. What I know is. about. It. I've never done it. Have you done this, Rec? No. Nah. Damn. You've done He's it. Gluten free. Yeah, I am gluten free. I did. I did. I did. Help. I did a group jerk off uh, in a thing. It was really mean. Now that College or just it. at the comedy store? High school. I feel like it was at the comedy store. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> name, name whoever I nuts last is going first. We all jerked off on Eliza's dog. <laughs> oh my God, Blanche. <laughs> That's why she's called Blanche. Blanche means white because it's for the gym. She was like, can somebody watch my dog? She went on stage. We all just jerked off on the dog. Oh, God. Oh, we'll watch her, all right? <laughs> we are going down, Eliza. I'm sorry about this. Uh, okay, I, think, sorry about I think I think the dog passed away, by the way. Sorry about got that, a new one. Eliza. We're just joking around. We're just kidding around. You know, comedy. I do hear that the dog died from uh, drowning. Too much cum. Yeah. Too much cum. <laughs> Too much. It was another jizz oh, fatality. Oh, 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 oh. So many at the comedy store have been jizz fatalities. It sounds like a dog is drowning in cum. Come back there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Happens all the time. <clears throat> no, we did. I did something very mean. A guy, a guy that, a dude that we knew in high school that some someone didn't like, and they were they had oh, beef God. over a girl. Yeah. <clears throat> and he stole his jacket from an auditorium. Like he put down his jacket, and we all jerked off on this guy's jacket. Oh, God, and t- you should have came like in the pockets. Like, you know, we're funny. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> later, he's like, "Where's my phone?" He's like, "Chills <laughs> again." <laughs> So well, let me tell you something. The guy that the guy had beef with that we knew, he gave him back that jacket. That jacket oh. was returned to the rightful owner. It's the best kick me <laughs> sign ever. Cause, well, because we know, but he, but no one else knows. It's perfect. But now he does. By the way, he's watching this and he's like, no! <laughs> he's it's my favorite jacket! jacket. <laughs> it's my I, favorite American I, I Eagle jacket. I have a forgotten jizz load story. Yeah. I, uh, in college, I jerked off and I usually would jerk off into like a wad of tissues and I just throw, put it in my pocket and throw it into the bathroom flush it mm-hmm. I put it in my pocket it's so fucking serial killer I was I'll just dispose it in the bathroom <laughs> you don't have a trash can I'm the room? Dahmer of jerking off um, there you go. yeah no. Nah, but I was high as fuck too and then I had to go that to class that goes crazy yeah a lot of elements going together so I had this in my pocket I went to go take a test it just smelled like jizz throughout the whole test and I was like who the fuck <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, or, God, it was you. yeah, and then and then I was like reaching, I was rummaging through my pockets, and I pull, I was like, what the fuck is this? I pulled it out in front of everybody. It's just this <laughs> wad, but nobody I knew should, what it was. You should have blown, you should have blown your nose in. Like, I know, I should have played it off. <laughs> but yeah, that was kind of a story I was hoping to forget, but it came up. I'm glad today. that came back. And what did, what did you do just, after? You just held it like Statue of Liberty. I was like, no, I realized what it was, and I just went back yeah. in my pocket. Juice, what did, what's the first device you used to smoke marijuana? A pipe, like a lady. Like, <laughs> like a good lady. I imagine it being like a big tobacco pipe, though. Yeah. <laughs> the corn husk one. Pa, 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 you don't even from the Renaissance pa, 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 pa. Little glass pipe. I used to love chillums. I used to love Oh, chillums. yes. Chillums. Because you favorite. feel cool that you know how to use them. Yeah. You know? And it was cool to say chillum. I was always like, I'll bring, what, what? bring over I always chillum. felt like I was I think one hitter. Yeah, we call those one hitters. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever get to see the cigarette ones that were metal and you like dip it? I still have them. Of course. Titmouse just sent me one. The Those Tip Mouse Animation House was like Merry Christmas and sent me a, a little a little it's a little um beautiful wooden box. It's carved really nice. But it looks like a cigarette? Yeah. It's like double six. You look like you're smoking nicotine, but you're just smoking weed. Hell Did yeah. you guys smoke wet? What? No, dude. No one smoked embalming <laughs> fluid, you fucking. <laughs> I'm like, Tip Mouse, be wet, cool. Silly. Wet, dude. Let's bring wet back. Wet is embalming Ooh, fluid. Oh, I said wet back. Whoa, I, I think I smoked that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Sorry, Carlos. <laughs> Wait, is that like... I'm bringing wet back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that like dipped in lean? Yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 no. They said formaldehyde, but I can't imagine. It is yeah. formaldehyde. That it is was? embalming fluid. That's what that Guys, is. that's so cool. It's yeah. what they put it's in like bodies when they die. That's not lean. And you were just smoking on that? Because I've, dip- yeah. I've smoked blunts dipped in lean. That's different. Oh, okay. that's lean it. is... Cough syrup, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And now, when you smoke it, you lean. <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> That's what I was told. You're better than that. She's You're better no, than that. You know she's it. one of the <laughs> fucking annoying comedians that could just like, if we said, if I said that, people would be like, "That's not funny." You'd be fired. Yeah. But you oh, say okay. it, and it's like your whole cadence and who you are is so funny that. You're never you. You could just not try. She's a great wanted. comedian. Lee Chappelle's like that too. I mean, he's he's absolutely funny, but people whatever he says, is just I know funny. it's like you speak and joke. But that's yeah. just because he's funny. black. All right, we'll be right back. After this. <laughs> Remember when I said wet back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you smoked out of it. No, but by the way, you guys are saying that the cigarette is what we call one hitters. Right. Chillums aren't one hitter. Chillums are glass uh, pipes. Yeah, you fucking losers. You fucking know? dorks. You never smoked wet. Fucking doors. All right, hold on. We need to finish this interview. We need to finish yeah, this interview. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. So listen, what do you think you can bring to the show that, that Bobby doesn't? A uh, jawline. 
Whoa. Ooh. That's the most fire. Burr, 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 burr. That was he also fire. Said, he also said he has six inches, so six and a half inches. So. I've yeah. seen Bobby's cock multiple times. Is it, who hasn't? Can I tell you something? We, we measured it soft and really? hard, and it's actually he actually is a grower, not a shower. He does this whole I have a small penis thing, but it actually does grow. He's got good size. But grows to what? You're not saying the number for a it's reason. Like, yeah, it's well, it's not my it's not my tail to tell. <laughs> under the, under the desk, it's not his tail under either. It's just more of a Where more of a at? nub. It's like uh, you know, it's like this, uh, like that. That's not, really that's, that's pretty great. soft. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's something. Great. That's a handful that's right great. there. There you go. Look at like that. Like a flashlight or I'm something. Proud of him. This is Shaq holding a coke can. This is not. <laughs> this is not bad. That's that. It, Same width or no? Yeah, exactly. Green, oh, wow. green on the Hold top. On. He's got that double espresso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember. It. <laughs> he got one of them double espressos. That's right, girl. All right, so, so a jawline. Jawline, yeah. Huge. And then um, one more final question for the yeah. interview. Juicy, and then we have to decide if this is if he's going to work. Well, I've got to hear everybody first. No, I, okay, I know. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. No. Remember who took it, you to the Renaissance Fair, American Renaissance Am I going to Hollywood bitch? or not? What are we doing? All right, so the last question that I'll ask you is, are you willing to denounce your Judaism and identify as a Korean. Yes, on 100%, 35 <laughs> times, yes. For the rest of your life? Yes. You have to be Korean. Yeah, I would do that. You're heartbeat. gonna have to get in Korean face. Well. <laughs> what is that? They have Everybody yeah, knows Andrew, what Andrew, Korean Andrew, face is. Show us what it is. What does a job entail? Would you mean, mind showing me What that? does Korean face look yeah, like? could you? <laughs> no, you could, we could trade though. I'm down to be Jewish. See? Oh. It's pretty cool. I love what I love marvelous Miss Maisel. We just be eating Reuben <laughs> sandwiches. That girl's not even Jewish, by the way. She got a lot of heat for that. But she's got great tits. She, she does. saw those tits. Oh, yeah. wow. I auditioned Jews be for having that tits. show. I auditioned for that and I saw those Jews tits. Be and having I was like, tits. You guys thought my tits were gonna compete with those tits? Yeah, but they could have fluffed you up. <laughs> she could have they should could have hired her tits. Yeah. Just <laughs> CGI her tits yeah. onto your body. Wait, I think this is a good freaky Friday we could do. Ooh. Oh, Jew yeah. Korean swap. I'll I'll, I'll learn Torah. I read Torah. Yeah. Baruch All you gotta do is read opposite, right? You usually read like this, you go the other way. It's like manga. Backwards. It's like reading Japanese manga. We do that shit too. Japanese Damn. manga? Same person. Or Korean manga, same. What is that? Manga. Just ma like, oh, you know, anime, comic book, yeah. Oh, okay. Asian comic. Why is anime so horny? They go straight for the big tits. <laughs> yeah, because, because what he was saying before, truth be told, Japanese are so like... Uh, 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 emotionally repressed. stunted and oppressed that they, mm. that like, that's why they're... That's why the figures of women that they have are like cartoon characters. That, yeah, that's where that's where tentacle porn comes from. It's from like not being able to show that. I I'm absolutely sorry, love that tentacle porn shows from because they can't show penetration. Yeah. Oh, their pornos can't show like a penis going in a vagina. It's got to be it's blurry. It's got to be that? eight. Tentacles. Yeah, now that I like edit, <laughs> I like edit a lot of my videos. That's got to be hard to do all that tracking for like the blur on the vagina. A lot oh. of shots. The director's like, let's just do a tripod. You stay there. I don't want to try. I'm an that. expert of that. It does take blurring. a while though. She yeah, blurs because she blurs her feet because oh, feet yeah. are big. I got size fifteen. Ooh, you size know 15. what it really wow. is? People want her feet bad, and on the internet, she's not willing to give it to them unless they pay. No, it's not even it, like Make I say a hundred mil, I, I, a million dollars in quarters. I'll take for, but it's it's That's more so just. Heavy. I didn't know they were jerking off to my feet, and I felt betrayed. All right, I got to tell you something. I think Trevor's in, but I have a couple of questions for him. Okay, please. Oh, yeah, please. Oh. I just let everyone know I'm actually looking at Fancy's dick. It, it, he is bottomless. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, well, is that what he does up there? Hard. That's what I mean. He's bottomless. Yeah. She got Bluetooth on it. All right, Trev. <laughs> yeah, let's let's hear it. Okay. Go for Fancy. Are you gonna be late to every <laughs> taping? <laughs> no, I'm here. You know, I showed up on time, driving out here, far as fuck, but I'm here. Is that a trick question? Is Bobby late? Uh, Historically, Bobby used to be late to this show so much, it would cause actual real fights between him and I in the real world. Like, he would show up so late and not care, and then we would get in fights because we'd be like, dude, everyone's waiting mm -hmm. all night. And we used to record almost always at night. Yeah. And then it, it would piss me off so fucking Damn. much. But now he's been on time because daddy cracked the whip. Mm. <laughs> when did he start showing up? Like, when the views were just doing great, and he's like, oh, I gotta start showing up? This show got views off the jump. Oh, we, my bad, my bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stay, but what, stay in line, young man. But what did you say to him that was like, all right, get your shit together? Or probably just that. Um, What was it that, like, what was you it that You just pulled him aside one day, you're like, fucking get it together. I think we had a live fight, a real fight on the show. Oh, interesting. And I was genuine about how annoyed I was that he was so fucking late all the how time. How late would it be? Dude, so, I mean, who? Sometimes he would fucking forget that we had to tape that day. Sometimes yeah. he's in New York right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so was funny. Weed? Was it when he was smoking weed? Was no, was dude, he was sober. I mean, he did. He relapsed while we were filming. Yeah, uh. that happened. But 
That's why he got that trophy because he kicked the habit. <laughs> Yay! No, we got him out of it. But he nice. no he when he you know what's you know what's actually fucked up. This is awful to say. He can vouch. Fancy can vouch. When Bobby was using again, he was actually on time. Like he's trying to get the fuck out of here and go use again. <laughs> no, but he was he was more scheduled. <laughs> That's so fucked up to say. He, yeah, he wanted to get fucked up. Well, because you know what it, you know what it really was, and I noticed the first time he relapsed uh, when I was with him years ago. Um, he was so afraid of getting caught that he was more poignant about everything. Mm. Oh. Like he, he, that's the funny thing was, he was so nervous that like Kalila was going to find out or I was going to find out when I went to his house the first, when he was using again, that he was like a little too on Bobby. And I was like, that's really fucking weird. And then he pulled me in the hallway. And he was like, I got to tell you, dude, I'm fucking definitely using again. I know he's the, he was the worst at keeping the secret. He well, would, he wanted like, to show tell me everybody. the weed. He's like, look at all the weed I'm going to smoke. I'm like, Bobby, what are you doing? All right, so listen. Wait, can I do one question? No. Okay. <laughs> of course. You can. Fair enough. Fair of enough. course you can. All right. So my question is, uh, what can you do for me? Ooh, Ooh. this is really good. Bobby's, you know, he's kind of brought me onto the show, and he's got me a, a, a commercial agent. Yeah. And a, oh wow. What can you offer? <laughs> hey, you know, I'll be very honest with myself. What can you offer, Wallace? I can offer you. <laughs> How do you feel about stardom? I mean, how do you feel about views? Whoa! Mm. How do you feel about TikTok? How do you feel about reservations at Saddle Ranch whenever you want? Whoa! <laughs> he is the voice of the youth. Free ride on the bull? Uh, I could ride on the bull. I get you some cotton candy. Uh, I could just I could send you a lot of Logan Paul's Prime Energy drinks. I have way too many of them at my house. I could send you like eight cases of those. Liquid Death send me. Uh, they send me way too many sparkling waters. Hey man, don't plug your shit I on did our go show. To your <laughs> <laughs> did you guys I went, get that candle? I that Liquid Death candle. I went to Trevor's house once and I, and he had all these clothes on the table and I don't know if you remember this but you were like yeah if you want anything just take something I just oh. get sent all this free yeah, stuff yeah so you all answered your own <laughs> question right there if you need influencer shit that I don't want to wear you got it <laughs> alright yeah it's like a, just a hype beast thrift store if you want it do you that, consider yourself an influencer as well no I, I think that term is just it hurts it's painful <laughs> why I, I just think it gets lumped in there with the same people who just do like a video is like, get ready with me before we go to ketamine in downtown LA. Yeah, but what's hey, the difference? Hey, rude. <laughs> That's well, like my Annie's video. That's her page. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what's the difference when people say podcaster? Uh, I had a I guy yesterday I, tell me, he was like, I I, I used to sell um, TV ads and now I do them for podcasts. I go, oh, I got a couple podcasts. He goes, oh yeah? Kind of like, no, oh, really? You have a podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. He, I go, what's, uh, what's the podcast that you guys do? He's like, it's called... <laughs> <laughs> I just met girls that make the Trader Joe's signs. That's their whole like job. The bitches oh, that are so talented in, yeah. inside the store. So yeah, fun. they make all, their job is to make Trader Joe's. They got the signs, best and calligraphy. So good. That Whoa. shit makes me. Them calligraphy is good, like, <laughs> dog. They draw the items and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like and they'll beautiful. like throw a little joke in there every once in a while. I'm like, am I horny <laughs> reading about peanut butter pretzels? <laughs> mm, fuck, I, I love those peanut butter pretzels. Yeah. So the answer is, I I could give you just free influencer shit. <laughs> all right. Yeah. If you need it. I'll take that into account. All right. Well, thank you so much, Trevor Wallace, for your <laughs> I appreciate time. appreciate it. Uh, for the people that um, go watch uh, Trevor's pod. Uh, Stiff Socks. With Blaustein. Also, love Trevor. Very, very funny comedian. You're very funny. We do love you over here very much. Thank you. Do I have to leave now? Viator. Viator is the world's leading travel experience marketplace, offering everything from simple tours to extreme adventures and all the niche, interesting stuff in between. They put the critical combination of extensive options, ease of selection, and flexibility at your fingertips. To ensure your time is wonderfully spent, Viator is the place to go to book experiences that will create long-lasting memories. I love to travel. I'm going to be traveling again in the new year. I'm going to be using Viator when I'm in Europe. Uh, Viator is great. What they do is uh, they set up a little bit of a program. If you're somebody that uh, needs a little bit of help instead of winging it, Viator uh, will take care of you while you are not at home with wonderful experiences, whether it's rock climbing or skydiving or hiking um, or even uh, something a little less extreme like restaurants, uh, or going to visit museums or cool things that are happening around town. Viator is great. They got over 300,000 bookable experiences to choose from in over 190 countries. Download the Viator app now and use Viator 10 for 10% off your first booking. One app, over 300,000 experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator. ShipStation. We've talked about ShipStation on the show because we use ShipStation on the show. We love these guys. Uh, the best time to prepare for growth before the opportunity arrives, especially for online businesses, is right now. ShipStation sets you up for growth by directly integrating every shopping cart and storefront so your products are easier to find, easier to manage, easier to get in the hands of happy customers. Don't wait until you're drowning in orders to find the right shipping solution. Upgrade to ShipStation today. We use it to ship you guys merch. You like the merch? That's what we're doing, man. There's no more lift, uh, no more limiting your business to one store. 
ShipStation is going to integrate every single platform, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, you name it, they do it. Save time with consolidated order management and automated shipping updates for your customers. Hey, man, loosen up your workload. 98% of the companies that use ShipStation for one year become customers for life. Ton of companies use it like ours and also on it, which we've talked about on the show, Chubby's, Shorts. They got a ton of companies that are on there using ShipStation to get all the products you need delivered to your door. Go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with the promo code BADFRIENDS for a 60-day free trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months for free. Visit ShipStation.com. ShipStation.com. Click on the microphone at the top and type in the code BADFRIENDS. Mama's looking I know, real I'm good. I'm fucking beautiful. I'm so funny and so pretty. It's crazy. It's so unfair. And your zongers are looking nice in the shirt. Oh, I put big, big titties in for this. I wanted to. I have like really big fake tits, but they're hard to get over my hair. What do you mean? Like they're like for like trans people and drag queens and stuff. They're, they're like huge. They're neck. Like they're. I got big tits. You'll see them on uh, the Halloween episode. Whoa, dude! I want to. I want to see that. What do you yeah. mean? It's hard to get over your hair. You put them. They're like. It's like a sticky like silicone, and you have to put it. Go. It's like got a neck. And like it goes a fat all the way suit. Down. A what? Like a fat suit, but it's just a titty. A fat titty suit. Yeah. I bottomless. Love it. Fucking bottomless. Can you believe it? <laughs> so disgusting. Because he was wearing pants when I got here. Just, no, no, no. People <laughs> drop trowel when they see me. It's crazy. <laughs> That's your, you have that effect. Mm -hmm. So, um, welcome one third of, uh, of a Trash Tuesday girl to our show. Or two third. One of us is always gone. Yeah, one of it. Who mm. is it? You? No, Esther's gone now. Esther's filming something. We all we fluctuate on. I know. Gone. I just got invited to do her movie. Oh, that what's that feel like? <laughs> 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 tell me what it's like. I'd love to role play that. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not. I don't think I can do it. Oh, hilarious! Ha ha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Should I ask someone that's available? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking. Content. I can play a ginge. You uh, you could do the role actually. I actually you could do the role. What is it of a man? It says pig person at bar. Pig person at bar is exactly <laughs> what I can do. <laughs> That's actually all I've ever played. I can't really not do that role. You and I could play similar roles. I feel like we could play siblings, don't you think? I've thought about that so we much. We have sibling energy. When I wrote when I wrote this thing recently, <clears throat> you were the first person I came up with. For and the... then who got it? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not done. No, I'm serious. We're still doing it. But I did say I said your name, and the person that I'm working with was like, "Oh, she's fucking great." And I was like, "All right, slow down." Was it Charlie? No, I can't tell you. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'll tell you off air. I want to just say, I know I'm not at the point where I'm like here to show you what I would do for you, Jetski, but <laughs> I think what you need to know is there's not a specific thing I'll do for you. I just, my life's goal is to make Jesse Jutz, Jetski, Juicy Johnson happy. I think she's fucking happy. Yeah, I'm so happy. Annie is... T she took me on the road. I think we talked about it. Before, I like to but... spoil my girl. Yeah. Mm. Well, you're coming. Well, uh, here's the deal. I know there's a lot of competition of like who's taking Juicy and what they're doing for her. You know, she has she put us she pitted us up against Polly. Now you. But here's the real deal, kiddo. I just got the dates for the Bad Friends tour that's oh, coming shit. next next year. And uh, you're not a, you're not in. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't made it. I'm so sorry. I, I can't think of nothing else. Like I, I'm really excited about the tour. It's gonna be great. We just got all the dates, so we're lining them up right now to go. And yes, you are absolutely coming. However, the stipulation is you make no money. You're gonna. Yeah, you, I know to take the pictures. You have to pay us. You have to sell the merch. You have to sell. Wait, them. am I going with Polly? Yeah, you are. It is like such a funny, but Polly's so old school that he like forces his openers to sell the merch. It's so funny. It's like still. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, he didn't like force us, but yeah, he I did. Felt, I, I heard did he fucking like duct taped I, her hands to the. <laughs> to I had the, to do it. Yeah. She says it's the square machine. The square thing is, <laughs> is duct taped. He pierces it onto her. <laughs> no, but you know what? We're gonna do that tour, and it's gonna be great. And I just started. I featured for Jesselnik, and I just wanted to say I asked him if he had any stories of Bobby and Andrew, and he said who. It's very funny. Yeah. Very funny. That's very funny. I like that guy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's so pissed. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, great. Good. He knows who we are, man. I know, but he's he's jabbing you. Yeah, but you know what? It's not nice, Jess. <laughs> no, I almost thought you said he's Japanese. I'm like, he's Japanese? Okay. <laughs> yeah, give him a lot of a lot. Him and, him and his boy went viral for their little pod, for their little podcast. How demeaning. Yeah, it is a little But podcast. it is a little podcast. Yeah, it's a little bullshit-ass podcast. How about that, Jess? You talk a lot of shit for Nick? such a tiny little podcast. Bitch. <laughs> You little bitch. No, but him and him and his buddy, their pod, they talked about a girl dying on a on a roller coaster. Uh, uh, or she went to go get like get her phone, and the roller coaster killed her. And they made a bit a bit about it on the show, and it went viral on TikTok because some girl was like, "How disgusting! Oh god, that TikTok. these comedians are laughing about this." And then all the comments 
were complimenting them. They were like, this is the funniest bit. And you're oh, just like, why didn't so I nice. think of this first? I know. <laughs> we're not up on current events on this show. Although I did see this morning in bed, you could look this up, 39 cases a month of medical Monkey marijuana pumps. psychosis. Oh. <clears throat> People are coming in because the dosages are too high that they're having psychotic breaks in San Diego. I understand it. That's how fucking out of control... Uh, the weed is getting in San Diego. Can I just tell you, I actually had to quit weed. Weed and alcohol are the things I don't do, and I will do literally anything else. Wait. But I can't handle weed. I'm I'm the couch. I'm either the couch girl. I'm like, you yeah. know. I can't I either. Yeah. You don't smoke anymore? No. Nah, it's I, too hard. I quit like four years ago. Yes. Wait a minute. You weren't high any time we were, when we were filming? No, nah, it's just how I am. You just. I know. Yeah. I love <laughs> it. You're great. Do you do uh like do you do other stuff? Do you trip and stuff? I do real drugs, yeah. Yeah, he oh, does. Yeah. yeah, he does. That so we talked cool. about. That so we talked cool. about. Yeah, but I, I, uh, so cool. <laughs> I do real drugs. <laughs> no, nah, I feel like you know, um, I smoked a lot when I was in my developmental stages, like yeah. in high school. So I'm just kind of naturally like in that mode. That's funny. Yeah. I, I, me too. I smoked for like 15 or 20 years, and then I, ju then I just don't smoke pot anymore. I, I just cannot. It's too strong. Me. Yeah, it is. It's like where I no that you know that El Camino movie. Oh yeah, yeah. I, it's really intense, and I took an edible, and my heart was just racing the whole time, and I, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> just like terrified. And and you like, quit. Cut. Was it because you had a break? Um, like, did something happen to make you quit smoking pot, or did nothing happen? I think I. <gasps> Whoa. What are you, my dad? I think I, I think I smoked a lot. You alone. wish your dad wouldn't be sitting here hanging that's out exactly with you. Exactly right. Well, he's not around. He hasn't been around. <laughs> I know that's the joke. <laughs> that's why I like you. You're so you've been through so much. My dad actually said to me, "This is how fucking this is how much of a nerd my dad is." Did he it. say who who like Jeselnik? Who who my dad who? <laughs> my stepdad. My stepdad is such a sweet dork, but he goes because he was so anti weed, and then they caught me smoking weed a thousand times, and he 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 heard the song because I got high. Remember that song? Uh -huh. Oh, and he thought. That was like an anti-weed song. Because <laughs> he was like, she, he was late for work because you got high. Uh, he was funny. using the lyrics as if it was. <laughs> I was awesome. like, dad, this guy's a pothead. He's saying it, celebrating it. And he's like, oh. no, he's not, you fucking idiot. He's saying that he lost his job, his girlfriend, and everything he loved because of pot. I was like, I think you're. Can you open this I think me? you're wrong. Um, so nothing happened, Rec? Uh, I think I smoked alone one time. And I was like texting someone. And I was like. Th this iPhone is learning who I am and how I talk. And I was getting really paranoid. And then I was like, yeah, this shit is not for me anymore. Damn, Ooh, I think that's a good movie, too. Just have yeah. one autocorrect, and you're like, I'm fucking out, too. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's how you had to spell February, and you're like, this is too much. So I think my fucking phone smokes pot. My autocorrect is always fucking wrong. So annoying. Always wrong. And the update made it worse. It used to kind of learn me, and now it doesn't know, know me at all. I'm the opposite. I want it to know me. I heard a hack that, you know, when it says ducking instead of fucking, you have to make a contact that says fuck no. in your phone. No, you can go on keyboard. I got the hack. I have the real hack. Go to settings. Keyboard shortcuts. She Keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, yeah, and you can switch the names. Does Bobby have those? No. Exactly. See, we have a Korean who knows what the fuck is going on technologically. <laughs> this not, this guy, you don't have an Android, do you? Nah. Okay, I got worried for a hot second. I made a deal with myself about weed. I said, I'll smoke weed again when I make $100 million. So let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so let's all take this journey. Let's go. <laughs> buy my merch. A <laughs> hundred million dollars. You want to smoke a joint day? Buy my merch. Buy her merch. <laughs> please, guys, please. We do need that. We do want to see it. And it'll be it'll be a Spotify Live. I'm sure we'll do it live. <laughs> Annie has cool merch, too. She yeah, got she the, does. the T-shirts, the glasses, the socks. It's almost yeah. the whole outfit. I got new stuff coming, too. Look at this bitch's nails. I know I can't do anything. You see how you had to open this for me? Yeah, but I those can't. Are so cool. I'm wearing sweatpants again because I literally cannot button and zip pants. Well, that's kind of like oh. Bobby. She's needy, like. Bobby. Yeah, I need. I'm like Kalila, do things for me. <laughs> 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 yeah, you are. Well, you're not needy like Bobby. You're independent. I like being independent, but it is now that I have my very own Todd. It's like. <laughs> it is when he was like having so much fun at Skankfest that he was not standing next to me the whole time. I was like. It was so weird to have to just reteach myself like how to walk like Aww. without being having my hand like escorted. I was like, I, it was like hacky. I was like, I don't want to sound crazy, but where's Todd? Like, I, I want to make a where's Todd shirt. I was just, I was just about to say that. But he was gone. He was always like with the people having the fun sniffy sniffies somewhere. Oh, you know? I know, so cute. You know what you need to do is make like where's Waldo type of shirt with all sorts of like different comics. And then there's just Todd. And there's Todd in the middle. Oh, I love that. Idea. <laughs> do you have any fun? You got any fun trip stories? We talked a little bit of drugs when we were filming, by the way, because we knew we wanted to do some mushrooms. What'd together. you guys film together? I'm sorry, I didn't know. We did a show that's going to come out called Beef. Uh, oh. With Ali Wong, Stephen Yun, uh, not Bobby Lee, <laughs> not Bobby Lee. <laughs> Thank God. Who else is in it? Um, Do you know other names? David Cho. 
Wait, did you say that? No, oh, I, can't I love David Chesson. I can't so believe much. I skipped over my man. Yeah. He might be the most... He is um, so talented, goddamn. I don't even know how to say it. He might be the most interesting person to listen to. Mm. Talk. He'll just talk to you. If you're talking about a subject, he'll just go in his own world and start telling you a story that's, I mean, Do you know my David Cho? My dude. David Cho combo, what we talk about is, our mm. topic is Survivor. He's a huge Survivor fan. Is he? Yeah, it's the number one best show of all time. Revisit it, guys. If it goes off air, I will be I, dead. I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Why? I don't. I just don't care about those people. <laughs> the who? What, which people? There's new people all the time. That's what I mean. I don't care about oh, any of these fucking God. people trying to like live on a fucking island and could be like I don't. I don't. I just that it's thing is so not my thing. Good. They're not trying to live there. They're trying to survive. They're trying to survive. <laughs> trying to live. Yeah, he's like they're you know they're not Juicy. glamping. I just I think it's so. I, uh, the only kind of televised, rugged thing I want to watch like that, we've talked about it on here a million times, we've offered to the producers to put us on, but Naked and Afraid <laughs> is the dopest show on television. You put two people butt naked, there's no safety nets, and they got to fucking live. No, and a lot of times, is, they die. No, here's the issue. They, <laughs> they die. Here's the issue. here's the issue. They're not winning anything at the end. That's what I don't like. Pride. <laughs> They're losing. No, That's why the show is better. You're not doing it for money. You're doing it because no, it's like- No, money's the best. They I, don't make any money on that show? No. What about the other show where they, they're in like extreme Alone? conditions? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one's crazy. That's the illest of all of these. That's the dopest. Yeah. That Can one's not as the... fun to watch because the naked one's more fun because when you get like bites on your penis, and st it's funny to watch them like <laughs> squirm at night. That I like to watch. But the funniest thing that's ever happened in the history of podcasting is when Esther was on Tiger Belly one time, they went, they were like, Bobby and Kalila were talking about Alone and they go, yeah, we watch Alone together. And she thought they meant her, her TV show. show on Freeform. <laughs> and she got so excited. And it was not alone together. It was alone, Aww. comma, together. Aww. Damn. Hilarious. Sorry, Esther. Ha -ha. Sorry, little Esty. Ha -ha. That's what you get for not putting me in your movie. Mm. What if you're going to get in the movie and you don't know it yet? It, I've known her 13 years. She's had a lot of things. Annie, Call not to right flex, now. but I was in the movie. I shot on Wednesday. Oh, really? What'd you yeah. do in it? What's that? What'd you do in it? I was a weed dealer. I worked at the store. And next to me was Bad Baby. That was she was actually so bad. Baby got in it, and not I love bad baby. She, I'm sorry, nice lady. Well, who's bad baby? Sorry, did you say sorry? <laughs> yeah, catch me outside, girl. Huh? The catch me outside, girl. Doctor Phil, cash me outside. Uh, she changed your name to bad baby. Government, I actually yeah, am a bad baby. Name so. is bad baby. Bring sorry. up a photo <laughs> of, her, of bad baby, please. I don't, I, oh, Let's fuck. see this bitch. Uh, do I gotta do hey man, if you're gonna be the fucking producer on oh, the show, shit, Trevor, you gotta know how to type into a computer. Sorry, he only knows how to type his own name. Yeah. I think I was a good. Her music is great, low key. Oh, she's cute. Look at her. Outside yeah. of Chaconis, so fuck it, so 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 Los Angeles bullshit. Love this bitch. Um, <laughs> Let her have it. She needs it. She needs this fame. I'm really into little Yachty. Little Yachty. Little Yachty's dope. I'm. I've been fucking Lil consuming Bo. him a lot. You heard the new song, right? But the walk. Oh look, Josh so Potter follows her. She's so her. cute. Look at her. She I got, love this. She girl. probably could get her Rolls Royce. She her OnlyFans is going crazy. Oh, it's OnlyFans money. That's so crazy. These bitches are making so much money. Josh Adam Myers was like, Annie, if you did an OnlyFans, you'd make millions of dollars. I was like, what? That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> you'd make good money but you ain't making millions bitch <laughs> you don't you don't know that i do I've known, <laughs> annie. I've known annie for too long annie you know what how about this you would make you would make, you'd make... <laughs> annie you'd so make millions you'd be a jp morgan intern it'd be good annie you'd make tim dylan money <clears throat> if you did it that's good money You'd be making. Ew, uh, I'd make fat guy money. <laughs> fat guy money is the best money. It's funny if you it's... mean like we'd make the same amount of money on OnlyFans. You like would. You would. <laughs> <laughs> Tarantino's been coming to the comedy store. Yeah. He got Theo was on stage and he went. He went. I don't like that guy and he doesn't like me. It's like, what is the Theo and and uh, Tarantino beef? Did he really say that? <laughs> he said that. Out wow. Loud. You know who was like there that, last dude. night? Rihanna. Oh, so fun. I was there. Chappelle, I didn't see her. Chappelle dropped in and yeah. Oh, late after I left. Yeah. And he brought Rihanna. She pulled up later. Did she have her baby with her? Can you imagine? She's breastfeeding. <laughs> 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 now that's a bad baby. <laughs> <laughs> that baby's also been in Esther's movie. Aww. <laughs> Everybody has. Wreck is it's, this is a real thing. This I'm is in the real. background somewhere. This is yeah, real. I'm her stand in. Esther, I could play your fucking ripped stand in. <laughs> that's true. You could play like the bulky, the bulky Esther. The bulky, <laughs> I'm the bulk. I bring the bulk. She bulk. She bulk. They call me. <laughs> kind of sad. Rihanna was there, and I wasn't there last night. But Quentin Tarantino is so fun when he comes to the comedy store. It's like so fun. So Have you been there on those Rihanna nights? Rihanna and Aesop Rocky together. That's a picture of them in the lot at, at the store. Who That's took what? it? And I wasn't there last night. Who's the big white? I don't know. Security. 
We have a new security guy. Do we really? I don't remember what his name is, but there's a new one. Yeah, but that's not our security. <laughs> no, he looks like he can fuck some people up. Dude, unless... Oh my God, he's scary, that guy. I hadn't been to the store in a while, and I parked on the ramp, and one of the new security guys goes, Sir! You can't park there. Yeah, they've been it happens that. all they always go through that. And I'm like, they gotta get like Well, I did the nice thing. I go, Oh no, no, I'm it's okay. And he was like, No, nah, you can't park there. And, and I you're was like, like, come on. But I walked up to him, I go, Bro, bro, I'm a comic. I'm a comic. I'm I'm one of the comedians here. And he's like, No, 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 what? Who? Who? And then I mean, I <laughs> Who was it? Anthony Jeselnik is doing security? Hormos Hormos or someone ran over and was like, Bro, 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 bro. But I feel like you're somebody who wouldn't take that like calmly. I feel like you'd get like one like, oh no, I'm a guy, and then he's no, like, he's no, 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 you're not. Then you're like, yeah. Listen, bitch, and then you pull up the me time with Kevin Hart, and you're like, this is the fucking thumbnail, bitch. <laughs> no, right. I've gone backwards, man. I've calmed my no, shit down. No, he is. Really? He's worked on himself. I thank you. I very see much. that in you because we're both hulky. Thank you. I'm trying. Wholesome, wholesome. Me too. But I feel like yeah, you get like one like, oh no, I'm on the show, and then the second one, that's when you really start flipping. No, no, the second one, I'll just second one, I'll go, hey, dude, chill out. Does this not look like a fucking serial killer? Yeah, yeah, it does. Brianna looks so cool. She always looks fucking cool. That I mean, she's a <laughs> mega babe. It's Beyonce or, or uh, Rihanna? <laughs> That's not even a competition. I think Rihanna, right? Uh, uh, he's gonna say Beyonce. Uh, You're more of a musician, though. You know. Yeah, I, technically, I, I never was really into either of them. Oh, I like yeah. Beyonce. That's cool. I love Destiny's Like Destiny Child, Destiny's Child I like. <laughs> My friends and I would like reenact the music video. Which I like one Kelly. <laughs> Kelly's cool. We were I like all, Kelly. All short them. hair. We were all, all Wait, of them. Wait, what's the one? That's the saddest answer because we you know when them. one girl was like, no, you're definitely not. You're definitely not Kelly And they're like, Rowling. I get a turn later, okay? In five minutes, I'm Kelly. <laughs> wait, um. So, Rec, wait a minute. I like this. You don't like either of them. Yeah. You don't fuck with Rihanna or Beyonce. I mean, uh, no, they're great, you know? I, I like some of the songs. I'm, I'm just not. But you're like not a, like you don't. You're not like not f- like a searching huge fan. for them. If yeah. they come up in a shuffle, it's all good. Oh, yeah. the, there's a trend right now on TikTok of unpopular opinion of musicians. Have you seen this from people like who's overrated in music? And they're asking no, like college kids. It's actually kind of fun because it's like the, the some of the takes are really really good. Like some of them and some of them I don't know. Some of the people that they name I don't know. But who do you think is overrated as fuck? Unpopular p- opinion. Fuck. I don't. I don't really like to do that. I just. You oh. know. so sweet. I, I, I sh- actually I shit on them, but nobody's coming to mind right now. Yeah, yeah. Who's uh, who, who? I think we'll come back. To what's me. an unpopular opinion about who do you think is overrated musically? Hootie and the Blowfish, <laughs> rated no, perfectly. I love. That. <laughs> I Taylor Swift is one. I love this. Yes. This is good. Like she, and I guess she just dropped like two albums last yeah. night. I love she said I guess. She's I like a, a few. I do. Like, I guess she dropped an album. She's huge. Oh, she's I do huge. like a few yeah. of her songs, but yeah, I'm not like diehard. I've never really gotten. Who's overrated, Annie? Um, Who's overrated, Trevor? Usher. Whoa. Watch your, watch your fucking I'm mouth. Jealous. You watch your fucking mouth about us. Dude. Let it burn. I'll let it burn. No, he's got hits. I'll light you up, dude. Oh, yeah. You got him bad. He's so Such he's a good Start a new relationship Who's overrated? You. <laughs> Did you just hear me hit that note? See what Google yeah. says. Kanye. Mm-hmm. You think Kanye's overrated? Whoa. I like his take on the Jews, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> he's winning me back. I, I, I love I Kanye, I man. I, I, MAGA, MAGA, <laughs> MAGA, MAGA. You love Kanye. You I still do. fuck with him, even though all this stuff. <clears> I think he's him. the greatest rapper alive. Of all time. Because, yeah. I, I, like, historically. What about dead? He shifted the culture. Oh. No <laughs> chance. He's not the greatest of all time. He's I just think he's, he shifted the culture so many times. Coolio? Like you... Coolio? Or... Come on, man. Rest in peace. Rip. Rest in peace. Don't do Rip. that. Rip. F, F in the chat. So, wait. So, say, go finish your statement. I just, you know, like everything, fashion, music videos, live state performances, mu- even music, like combining like commercial sound with like underground yeah. type of, you know, He's raps. probably one of the greatest producers of all time as well. Not yeah. Just, not He's just, just the most influential rapper of all time. How about okay, that? Okay, Fancy's right there. He said- <laughs> In your face, Fancy. He says that, uh, he says that Drake is the best rapper of all time. Who? Kanye says that. He does? Is Kanye he thinks Drake is the... No, 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 no. no. I think... I don't... I've never gotten into Drake. So there's your overrated Drake. But I just never... I just never... It's just never come to me at the time that I need to hear it or liked it that much. I don't hate it. I just go... Ugh. Yeah. Daniel loves Drake. We listen oh, to Drake all the time. Really? <laughs> Have you gotten on board like sometimes we do with our boyfriends? Yeah. You've assumed Like I his... never listened to Drake before. And now you've assumed his love for him? What is it saying? Yeah. Led Zeppelin like is overrated? Is that what it's saying? Is? The top 10 most overrated. Number one, Led Zeppelin. Oof. Hot take. Can't Number get, two, can't not my words, Beyonce. Number Whoa. three, Taylor Swift. What's up? Number four, Jonas Bros. Back the fuck up. Jonas, Jonas Brothers, Brothers are legit. Okay? Real, uh-oh. Get them off this list uh, now. <laughs> yeah, delete it. Top10s.com right now. 
There the were five. Beatles? The Beatles. The Beatles. Who the Come fuck on, made this list? The, uh, the top tens.com. So everybody send your hate mail to the top tens.com. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ACDC, number seven, Yo, why Linkin did Park. ACDC get that's kind of fucked. Linkin Park. Linkin Park. They're great. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Also, the the album they did with Jay-Z, right? It was Jay-Z. Yeah, what yeah. a lapse in judgment on, by Jay-Z, huh? I mean... But that song was... That shit still goes crazy in the uh, karaoke room. I've become so numb. I can feel you How about near. when they're like, shut up when I'm talking to you! <laughs> shut <laughs> up. I relate to it. People scream that at me so often. Uh, number eight, BTS. Whoa. I do not claim. I'm, I'm not putting BTS that out there. Okay? Not, you yeah, better not shit on BTS yeah, on this fucking not, show. Listen, Again, the top tens.com. This is a Fuck Korean them. show, okay? Yeah. Number nine, My Chemical Romance. I feel like that was number a personal 10 is, one. I like Eminem. Eminem. Yeah, Eminem. Everyone likes Eminem. But it's I, basically it's, every pop, the most popular artist. I of think all they time. just went into it's a Macy's just, and just heard what they're playing, and they're like, "Yeah, these ten are." <laughs> Eminem's here. just for men beard is weird though. What yeah, is that? He dies. He dies his beard. And it's like, it's like just for men. the thing is, it's like they never dye it enough. Like there's always I'm a, like good a producer. little gray. Mm -hmm. By the way, he's got a line coming out called "Just for Mem and M." It's Mem and M. Just for Mem and M. I'm a Mem and M activist. <laughs> Memonem Memonem's rights. Oh, oh, look at that. Someone just did it. Oh, my God. Just, just for, for M. Oh, just for Memonem. We're hacks. We're hacks. We stole something from the internet. Reddit, Reddit got us. You Word. look great in the Oh, so oh my God. <laughs> That's why I started talking, so y'all fucking look Holy over here. Holy shit. Come <laughs> on, dude. They hide Trav. the Junos on me. What's up? What brand are these? All right, so hey, wait. Celine. Let's, Annie, get him a guy on this show. Bucks. Fucking promote a, get him a, get him a guy. Get him a girl. Oh hey, I'll take God. whatever. Well, I've been trying to get it. I th I think Tre Trevor is a catch. Are Hello? You, but are you looking for love or are you looking for hey. hug? Hey, I'm looking for a hug. Hey, it's Bobby. Say hi to Bobby. Bobby, we're doing your job for you. And we hi, Bobby. <laughs> Who's doing it? Well, Annie showed up. She's going to take your spot. Trevor's here. He might take your spot. Rex City is here. He might take your spot. Rex Dizzy. He Trevor said Rex City. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rex. Hey, he's here to take your spot and uh, it's who? going Trevor really who? well. Huh? Trevor who? Uh, Trevor Walls, your best friend. Noah? Trevor Noah. <laughs> yeah, Trevor Noah. That's why he quit The Daily Show. I love Trevor Noah. <laughs> How's it going, Bob? Thanks for showing up to the show just, today. Well, I just woke up just now, so I don't know why you're calling. What's going on? Are you in New York? It's 4.30. New York time. It's 4.30 in New York. I, I, I know, but, I, I know, but I, the, the last spot I, spot I had last night was like 3 in the morning. It was crazy. There was no spot at 3 in the morning. <laughs> you did a, you morning, did a one thirty maybe. One thirty, one thirty in the morning. Maybe. And it was probably midnight. One thirty in the morning. I lied. I lied. I know. How's it? Well, how's it going in New York, sweetheart? Um, I don't know, baby. Uh, it's okay. I want to come home. I haven't been home in so long. Yeah. I miss you, baby. Yeah, I miss you too, baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, shut up, Annie. Later. Hey, um, we do miss you. We love you. We, Ew. We can't decide if we can't decide if Trevor is right for the show. He's not. Or if Annie is. I am. Rex gonna stay though, regardless, because he's just he's killing it over there in the corner. There's a hammer Wait, under Rex, his is Rex chair. Is the one that beat me out of that role? That's right. You want to say something to him? Oh, he can hear you. Right. No, no, no. I, I, don't, I don't want to talk to him right now. I love him, though. He's cute. <laughs> Say something to Bobby. He can hear you. Uh, I, I love you, Hal. He loves I you. I love you, Rex. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Hey, so, Bob, you. Bob, when you yeah. come back, you might yeah. not be on the show anymore. Is that going to be okay? It's fine. He doesn't <laughs> care. He doesn't care. He doesn't yes, care he does. about his job. I, I do care. I care, but it'll be fine. I'll just kill myself. No. Oh! Oh! We want you back, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, did you go yeah. on? Have you gone on any dates in New York? No, New York women don't like me. What no, are you talking he's such a liar. About? You're such a liar. No, no, no. They have rough hands. <laughs> you need a girl like that's from Brooklyn. Yeah. Let's get you a... Where's no, a lot of gold. Let's get you a Harlem girl. Ooh, Harlem. <laughs> you want to go up to Harlem? Harlem. You want to go above the park? Oh, you wanna I love go Harlem. Let's get you up to Harlem. <laughs> All right, Harlem. hurry back soon. All right, okay, I, bye, I, I miss you. you. Bye. Bobby just crushing puss in New York doesn't even want to tell us about it. That's how much puss. I would love to watch Bobby's sex in the city. I know. <laughs> Can I tell you something? <laughs> that's exactly the that's women, what doing. The women that fucking come to say hi to him after the shows, it's insane how hot some of these girls, like shocking. Not because it's Bobby. I'm not being meaning, but it's just girls that you're like, who is this fucking stunning chick? And she, they they're obsessed with him. Yeah. He's going to be just fine. For Nobody was worried. For the fans that the are fans like, the fans are don't get it. They're so stupid. They're like, they don't get it. Bobby, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> like, oh no. Bobby's gonna be perfectly fucking. And you know what? So is Trevor Wallace, by the way. What's up, dude? Um, thank you all for coming and being on the show. Thank you guys for hanging out. I know this is Saturday, and I took up your time, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I, I really it. appreciate Trevor Wallace for being a um. A great comic, a good-looking guy. Oh, a look nice, at him! He's a great guy. Look a great at him. Guy. I look even hotter. With and you please try to fuck him. 
Fuck Trevor Wallace. Or just like come fuck to a show. No, don't go to a show. Don't no. be well, then choice. fuck me at the show. Yeah. During the show. Yeah. I did a clothing giveaway. He gives a cock giveaway. Hey, yo. Beautiful. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Rec. Thank you, Juice. Oh my God, it was so fun, you guys. Yeah, All right, so at the same time, yeah. we're going to say. Okay, ready? Who made the cut? All right, one, two, three. Annie Wood, the new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for being a bad friend. Thanks for being a bad, bad friend. friend. Hell yeah, bad friend. Thank also, you. we'll be well back. <laughs> I've been sitting on that one for like two hours.